I'm a big fan of Barber Wax Jackets. But at the same time, when it was coming to Barber Ashby Wax Jackets, I was kind of skeptical. It was out of my radar because it has more modern feet and interpretation. But I recently gave it a try and I bought a Barber Ashby in black color and it changed my opinion about the jacket. Let's find out why. So if you want to get into classic Vox jackets but you don't like old school feet of Bedeo or Beaufort, the Ashby could be a code for you. This is a very similar Vox jacket but with a modern feet or tailored feet as Barbo states. This jacket is slimmer and with regular sleeves length. If you are not too used to classic barber jackets, you may find that sleeves on Bideo and Beaufort are shorter from regular coats and jackets. With Ashby it is a normal length. The Ashby fit is true to size. I got my regular small size and it fits perfectly. My jacket came with three royal warrants, which means it is from older collection. The current production has only two royal warrants. And the new models with the Queen's passing probably would be down to one. So hold on to your barbers with three royal warrants, it will be a nice piece of history. My two buffer jackets are made in England, this Ashby made in Moldova. The exterior pocket has a traditional silk oil finish sign, the same as Beaufort and Bedeo. Outer and inner are 100% cotton, the sleeves and the drip strip or the bottom edge of the inside of the jacket are polyester. The jacket features two exterior pockets, two bottom pockets with vent holes and two upper pockets with some kind of fleece, soft and warm lining. And only one interior pocket with the velcro lock, which I personally don't like. It also has an armpit ventilation holes, three for each sleeve. The zipper is the same quality as the one on before, very durable and well made. It also has an interior zippers for adding the vest liners and it's compatible with standard barber lines. I tried the liner that I used for my before and it worked perfectly. This Ashby jacket has an interesting red tartan lining, which I didn't see on barber jackets before. Let me know in the comments if you have the same tartan pattern on your barber jacket. The jacket feels lighter compared to my before. I guess the before back pockets add some weight to it. And before is longer too. When the jacket is new with the fresh wax, it tends to collect all the dust and it's very visible on the dark colors. So I can see it very well on my black jacket. It eventually will pass when the wax will wear off a little bit, but just something to be aware of. Especially if you have pets in your house like we do. The jacket also has a corduroy collar and corduroy sleeves inner edge. This small detail provides a nice cozy feeling. Overall, I'm pleased with the jacket, the design is nice, the fit is great, I'm happy to have it in my small barber collection. I would describe Ashby as more uh, like a modern city jacket and less of a countryside jacket, compared to before and the day. After spending some time with my new Ashby jacket, I will do a more in-depth comparison with my before jackets, so stay tuned. If you like the video, subscribe and stick around. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Barber Ashby Vox jackets. Do you have one? Did you have a chance to try it? Did you have a chance to compare it with Bideo and before? Let me know your thoughts. I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.